Robertson runs it up through the middle. Penetrating kick inside the full at 50. Big punch away by Grimes. Lots of fortune taken by Newman. Goes down towards half forward. Victory leads in the race. Closing is Laidler. He's got wonderful recuperative powers as Laidler. Did you see his knee a few weeks back and the ball's out of bounds? He dislocated his left knee in a battle of strength with Will Minson. You get the sense early, Carlton. Oh, Vickery's going to get a free kick. Hey, hey, hey. That was careless. All you're going to do is lose it. Out you go. Yeah. Huh? So Vickery, no stranger to kicking goals. Seems to have fined down a bit too this year. Jeez, if that's it. Is that it? Certainly wasn't it. I think it's above that. Oh, that's a Still bit more red. Yeah, yeah no, sure. I'm with you. Nothing in that. Peggy Lee, is that all there is? Hold it a goodie. Here's Vickery. He'll kick from about 35 metres out. And that's a beautiful looking kick. He puts it through. Richmond by seven. Can't kick goals from 100 metres away. Henderson a bit stiff there. Hand passed away and the ball came directly back to him. Good thing the umpire saw it. Marriage knocks it down. Carranza. Down goes Cruiser. Stolen away by Foley. Edwards. The dash of Cochin hard against the boundary line. Goes down towards the 50. Running back with the flat of it. Miller. Oh, that was a terrific mark. Plays on quickly. Back to Foley. He's run a long way. Two players to choose from. And he finds Greg directly in front. 20 metres out. Foley involved behind the wing, I'd suggest. And then followed up. To kick it to this man. Who kicks a goal. Good start by the Tigers. Just denying possession at the moment. This has all get... just been across the middle yep. of the ground. They haven't got uh, one inch closer to goal. So Robinson decides to load up. Hampson's his target. Marich at the back. Garlett read it really well. Or was it Carrazzo? Back to Rance. Post in trouble, gone. Oh. He was a post. <laughs> Unmoving, wasn't he? And Betts goes bang. Oh. Henderson will really have to be alert there. We talked about not being able to get in the gym much in the post, but being able to do a heap of running and get very, very fit. So straight down the centre. Simpson read it well. Now, if he breaks Rance, he might break the Tigers here. He loves a running goal. He takes his full measure and then goes oh, short geez, brilliantly to Arnfield, who puts the second on the board for the Blues. Transition footy. One end to the other. No free kick. Lurking at the back is Cochin. Breaks away. Timed the release perfectly. From the line of the square, the defensive side of centre. Foley boots it down towards half forward. Bauer. Bauer looking across the ground. Nothing on. But now, aided by a good shepherd from Henderson, able to find Judd. Had ample time. Judd goes across the ground. Here's trouble. It's two on one deep. It's two on one deep. He needs to go long go. It does. Dropping back is Rance. But the mark is taken by Waits. Over the top. So White, 25 metres out, splits the middle. Then on the mark just inside the 50, Mark Murphy has made a slow start, just two possessions. Wonderful season last year. In front, Hampson follows the ball up, but then left it behind. Little one, two, tuck and Cochin. Back-to-back -back possessions for Cochin. Onto the chest there of Marek. Beautiful kick from Marek. Well, I said he was having trouble kicking goals. Way through from Richmond. Here's Nahas. 25 metres out. Slots it. Coming up a great season last year. It was going to take the left hand turn. It was great skill. Still a little unlucky to get pinned for that, I reckon. Carranza back to Bauer. Yeah, certainly. Pay the price for being skillful. It's a big call by the umps, but I think by a Farmer got it right. Henderson got it wrong. Tackle by Rebolt. Down he goes. Jack's going to get a free kick. He told his teammate Greg, don't take the advantage. going to try and take on the uh, tackle. I don't think Henderson's got that. Got six in the corresponding game last season. Michael Jamison didn't play. Well, he's not there again tonight. 
But so far, Rebolt has exactly the same number of goals as I do, but not anymore. He puts it through. Important acquisition, if you like, for the Tigers. Murphy's little give. Didn't really get it past Garlett. Oh. Judd getting on to the end of it. Held up by Newman. Judd well done with body strength through the hips to Betts. And then Betts goes back to Yaron, who'd love a goal from half-back. From his mate, too. Betts to Yaron, bang goal. It's clean play there by Betts. And it was just young... Uh, young... Morris, sorry, I was going to say Ellis Young Morris just trailed his direct opponent up behind the ball. Sheer joy, Sheer joy for Yaron. Vickery out of the middle, kicks it straight into Hampson. Ricochets across to Simpson, who's been very good. Probing kick inside the forward 50. Cruiser knocked it away from post. Betts can get his own goal now. Goes in and pops it through. Makes one and kicks one. Again, two, uh, two centre-bounce uh, clearances and then uh, a really uh, good goal. Geez, he's snippy at ground level, Bits and Garland. The two of them are great, a great pairing. Cruz was the one who kept the ball alive once it got deep, but just the speed. And uh, Morris was on his on his tail. was Morris, wasn't it? Yep. On his tail, but gee, he can't make up ground on Bets. Just getting right back on top of the clearances here at the moment. Cochin's had a, a quietish second quarter. I think it's 2-7. to seven. In fact, I know it's 2-7 to seven in favour of... Carlton this quarter, and that was the area of the Carlton game. Starting to get on top. Thornton gets it from Wade. So Thornton and that casual looking kicking style, and that one cut off from Rance. It's a good interpreter. Just um, it's a poor handball, actually. They're in trouble. Bets to Simpson. I'll get back to what I was going to say because Simpson kicks the goal, and Carlton get the break now. Oh. Just the flow of the game going with the Blues at the moment. Just see some, some really fundamental basic mistakes. That was Hooley on that occasion from the Tigers inside the defensive 50. And it goes without saying, you make a mistake there on the good side. All the way from South Australia. <laughs> Everything you saw. Wide of the pack. It's taken there by Delidio to Martin. Hurried kick down towards the 50. Lurking in front, Foley. Quick hands, heard the voice, gives it to Martin. Runs a long way as Martin lines up and kicks a beautiful running goal. That could be a lifter. Seven points the difference. I think it's fair to say we're all really impressed with the way Dustin Martin goes about his footy, but the fact he can go forward and kick goals like this at crunch time, 33 goals last year, shows... He is the future of the Richmond Football Club. Teammates might be able to push up to give him something to kick to. Lounds the cool. Wait. That's exactly that. Then kicks towards half forward. Bets the flyer. Running in front is Kerno. Gets free. Drops it on the boot. It scrambles inside the forward 50. On a collision course. Simpson came up. Put his man Grimes to ground. And now Armfield, the beneficiary. Open goal gets it. Using up the clock right here. Kerno. They're grouping just outside range. Yaron tries to pick his way through. Lurking at the back. Here's a chance for Garlett. Garlett snaps! Oh, that's a beauty. How clinical was that? He's got his first goal. They got it to the man they wanted to carry the football and kick it. That was Yaron. He put it to position A. And there's that man lurking behind the pack. We spoke of it before. Garlett, wonderful goal. It's one of the things, you, as you said, Dennis, when Gar uh, Jaron gets the ball, you know he's a, he's a good user, and Betts makes himself available. Really, Garlett has just followed Betts out, and the ball's come over over the top. But that is just a great finish. About half a step to get balanced. Just a beautiful conversion. They're a great little pair, those two. Oh. Gee, you'd be nervous as a small defender playing on Garlett and Betts. I can remember the statue kicking a few of those. Oh, Tim right. crashes into an opponent. Over the football, Edwards, grabbed there by Simpson. Another possession, down towards half forward. Coming through was Grimes. Oh. Met in the opposite direction by Garlett. Garlett finds his own footy. A little chip into the path of Hanson. 
And he caught that one. There's more Here's Hampson. Right behind him, kick is on the way. That is perfect. Just what Richmond did not want. For their respective teams. Cruiser couldn't quite get it at Delidio Murphy. Running hard brilliantly to Betts. And then Betts with a probing kick to set a half forward. Grind. Oh, good grab again by Hampson and Thornton strolls in and Carlton lead by five. Good play call, Dennis. What a passage of play. Some good stuff there. Richmond really built and then Carlton held them up. Foley, Hurley back inside. Newman, such a good kick. Now Marich wants to give it off. That's what he's been doing all night. Slow ball, but OK. And Martin... Such a weapon forward, Martin. Ten of his 33 were from set shots last year, so most of them on the run. And if they've ever needed a goal in this opening round of this season, this is it. So, runs out, improves the angle. That's a great kick. He's kicked two, Martin. That's the Tigers. Not a bad stopper to have. And he certainly quietened Cochin as the kick goes inside the forward 50. Oh, Cruiser! Well, they've locked it in there, and this could be the old eight-point play. This is exactly what Richard was talking about at half-time. He's come away from the where the ball yeah. drop is. He's done his work off the ball, got to the highest point. You just see him coming out of screen, so he's pushed, I think it's posted at that time. Got to the point of the drop, taken at the highest point. Textbook. 20 seconds gone. So Cruiser. Accuracy, the only problem here. He kicks from about 30, works it back beautifully, and through it goes. Lambell sounding for the Tigers right now. Right now, Cochin's got 16, and Carrazzo has 17, and he's right amongst it. Here's Jackson, just pops it to space inside the 50. Leading back is Bauer, goes to Miller. Tackled by Bauer, who was waiting for him, close to the boundary line, Edwards. He looks back towards the middle. What a beautiful kick. Finds Greg. Set shot at golf from in front. So Greg, who's kicked one tonight, has never been a multiple goal scorer in his career. That all changes with one kick. He's got two for the night. Carlton still big leaders. Dan Morris. He's had a pretty tough baptism, Morris, but that will please him. Martin, such a competitive player, Martin. Delidio, big numbers to half time. Long kick to half four, free kick. So Cochin pushes forward here. And again, an important kick. He's in the Martin area, isn't he? Just where Martin kicked that goal. Yeah, Martin kicked it into the second row of the stand. I'm not sure what sure Cochin's penetration. Let's see how it is. So the two young champs, Cochin and Martin, one after the other, yeah. and they deliver. So three of the last four goals for the Tigers here. They want Hooli kicking the footy, don't they? Hasn't had a lot of kicks tonight. Well, one of the things, when they do get forward, John, they need Rewald to start winning a contest or two. At the moment, Henderson's just really got him in those one-on-one -on -one contests. Border half forward and lead. The irony of that, no Jamison, of course. Nahas, Nahas floats the ball. Gee, oh. almost Jackson. Cotchin for a second, he does. Oh. They're coming, the Tigers, closing the gap. Putting some class into the forward line. I think that's a great yeah. great decision there by Damien Hardwick uh, to release Cotchin off Carrazzo. Carrazzo actually took some time to have a bit of a spell on the bench, but... It's going to have to come a point in time, Lee, where they inject Cochin back in in the midfield. Get close oh, yeah. enough, put him back in. Oh, yeah, eventually. But, I mean, really, they just need to get that scoreboard ticking over in their forward 50. Martin's kicked his couple of goals. You know, he's kicked 33 goals last year, Martin. You think he's capable of kicking a 40 or 50 as that on-ball forward? And, and Cochin has, has gone deep. Uh, they might have to change their matchups down there. Russell, he just looks a bit slippery for Russell. I mean, he got the free kick first one, but just read it uh, better off hands. 
So the Tigers first couldn't make the contest. He slipped over, but it was always Delidio's. Takes on the man on the mark, Wait. Slips a hand pass away. This is Conker from about 60 metres long down towards the forward pocket. Going back is Grigg. Had it knocked away. Revolt shrugs a tackle. Well done. Comes around you. Back him from here. Revolt snaps and puts it through. He's got two. Yes, I think the Richmond fans will be looking at that great execution by Rewell. The Carlton fans and uh, the coaching staff will be looking at the missed tackle from Chris Aaron. I mean, he had him cold on the boundary line. M Middle East got a bit more size, uh, Rewell, but shrugged the tackle. Then it was just a question of a really good finish. Here's the turnover there, Lee. Yeah. We asked you about 10 minutes ago what they need to do, and it's take the ball off the opposition and punish going forward. I think that's given it back to the opposition. <laughs> well, 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 they'll, they'll take it. And this is what I love about Jack Rewell. They've now kicked five of the last six. He was always going to have a shot there. It's like, yeah. I'm the main man, I'm the forward. This is my responsibility for my football club. Bain gets the goal. Well, the young champions, uh, Cochin, Revolt and Martin, have yep. made a difference. Cochin has started in industrious form in this final term. Goes short to Miller, back to Cochin. Cochin goes long this time. Dropping back down there, trying to take the mark. And it knocked away as the Richmond player. It spills to Revolt, who goes into an open goal. Delidio did his job. Murphy, Carrazzo, that was wonderful. And maybe it was the composure Tim was talking about. They're under real heavy duress there. Garlic to the middle. Simpson, now there's a man on on the outer side. He ignores that. And Lucas just on and the man dogged by injury. Just 10 games in two seasons. Right behind the kick, and that's true. The miss from out Lucas puts it through. Carlton, steady. So he's having a look yep. at the Blues. We'll be there at the Gabba for that uh, traditional Easter Thursday night. So they stretch the margin out a bit. Doesn't a coach just love that when the sub comes on and does something like Lucas did a moment ago? Judd running hard. Handball inside was terrific. Yaron, Yaron, Yaron. Still Yaron. Cheeky little bounce. Oh, well done. Runs towards goal. It's a chance. <laughs> it's as good as you'll ever see. It's buddy-like, isn't it? That's taken him on. <laughs> Look at the oh. ball. I think the ball is probably totally out of bounds, but just the ability to take it on. He knew if the, uh, if the tackle had got to him, he had to just kick it quickly, but uh, backed his pace. Well, that's the clubhouse leader for goal of the year. It's a go. Rebolt, perhaps the best thing to do in that situation was just stay on the deck. He didn't need a specky. Just punch it out of bounds. Here's Scotland. Running hard and kicking the ball hard to Gibbs. Merrick still with Gibbs, and then Gibbs with a very short one. Finds me that very quickly. <laughs> so four goals, ten from the set shots tonight, the Blues. Make it five, ten. Ones. Now, had he done slightly differently, I probably would have won it. This is Scotland. Into the path of Robinson. Well, he took them on under pressure. Gives it to Lucas, who's had an impact since coming on. Robinson runs on, kicks inside. The forward 50 and Hampson. Don't know him that well, Dennis. No, neither do I. But let's see what he does, because he's played terrifically well tonight. And he steers it straight through the middle. It looks like Carlton are home. Hampson's got two. And the Tigers, after that revival in the third quarter, just falling away for them. Scotland, what a great year he had last year in his 30th year. Now Lucas, so the sub comes on and kicks his second last quarter goal. coming weeks. Edwards digs it out of the middle, a high floating ball inside the forward 50 and Rebold takes his strong mark. Falling into the category of a journeyman. I think journeyman means you don't want them in your fantasy team, but suddenly he was on fire kicking goals last season. Rebold of course has been consistent over the last two years. Lining up at number four. Probably short sells the job done by Henderson, but he's got four on the night. Prior to that, he'd never kicked a goal in the Don't AFL. He's got two right now, and they were timely ones. Really got the distance between the Blues and the pursuing Tigers. 
On his knees, the ball comes out from Lucas. Taken by Robinson. Down towards full forward. Off hands. Rance is in front. Free kick to post, is it? No, it's going the other way. So Hansen, a chance to score from about five metres in front. He's got two. Interesting talking about Kane Lucas. Marks right there. He can play, the young man. And as I said, just ten games in two seasons, but it's always a good sign when they take your number from 24 to 9 and you haven't played. <laughs> Hampson comes in and kicks a goal. They know he can play, as this man has proven tonight. Sean Hampson's been a star. Sends it back towards midfield. Tui should be too nimble, at least for Marriott. Still going Tui in the opposite direction. Coming through was Delidio, gave it across to Foley, upended. Chance for Armfield, Murphy onto the loose ball, so much of the football, particularly in the second half. Into the path of Armfield, goes to Robinson. Robinson 35 metres out and closing, and he puts it through. The exclamation point. So the Blues win their first match of the year, eh? But it's the important round one. Big win in the end. Steaming over the top of Richmond.